Tonight, a Fox News exclusive, and it contains a couple of graphic images. Israeli troops over the border in Syria, their mission from correspondent Leland Vittert. This is the battlefield. On the left-hand side, a rebel village. On the right, a pro-government village, and they've been trading mortar fire back and forth all day. It helps to understand the geography. Those villages are just a couple of hundred yards here from the Israeli border, and you can see the border road there. Our cameras captured for the very first time Israeli commandos coming back from inside Syria on a mission. The Israelis have been very worried about extremists, especially those linked to al-Qaeda, using the unrest inside Syria to launch attacks here against the Jewish state, something Israeli officials say they are willing to do whatever is necessary to prevent. Recent reports from inside Syria show mass defections from relatively secular rebel groups to radical militants. Today, unconfirmed video surfaced of fighters from an al-Qaeda offshoot group, the al-Nusra Front, allegedly executing prisoners of war. God is great, chanted townspeople after the execution. Israel isn't taking any chances. For the first time in nearly 40 years, Israel deployed its forward artillery to provide an instant response capability. It comes less than two weeks after Israeli jets bombed weapons storage facility in Damascus and a recent public warning that more was to come if Syria continued to transfer sophisticated Iranian-made weapons to the militant group Hezbollah. In recent weeks, Israel has been reinforcing their positions here with heavy armor. This Merkava tank just came in. The very fact that it's here is in violation of Israel's ceasefire agreement with Syria, an agreement which, for all practical purposes, has been ripped up given recent developments on the Israel-Syria border.